Hi, <clears throat> my new toy CPU Thermotic with fans, three big fans, high definition audio, and we have a SATA dock on top. Just plug in the hard drive. Another fan over here, big one. Of course, we have back another big fan. Video is HDMI. Well, HDMI connected to the HDMI of our LCD. HDMI. There, HDMI. So let's go to our OS. <coughs> we'll press the reset, reset button. It resets. You get a blue screen. Of course, there you go. High definition HD, high definition media interface or HDMI. Then we have this screen. work with me here BAM OS Mac or Windows so let's choose Mac first press enter and Mac is now loading let's count 1, 1002, 14 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. It took 23 seconds to load up my Macintosh OS 10 Snow Leopard. So here we go. This is our Mac. This is our dashboard, of course. This is um, Hackintosh. If we go here and uh, look at our about this Mac, more info is all fine. Mac Pro, Mac Pro 1.5 quad core. Of course, the audio has been tested. The internet has been tested. The internet's working. Let's see if the internet's working. Let's go to Firefox. As you can see, the internet's working. Let's go to YouTube. So this one depends on the. There you go. Internet's working. We have our Word, Microsoft Word. Word for Mac 2008. It's the first time that this ever that I ever used this, so it took it takes a long time. Here we go. That's the word for Mac. It's a very it's a different interface, but yeah, you can always learn it. There you go. See, very nice formatting palette and stuff over here. Let's see how the other one looks like. XP, Excel, I'm sorry. Windows Excel for Mac. This one has two spreadsheets ready to be used. Actually, three spreadsheets, so you don't have to click here for all the spreadsheets. Instead, you just scroll, scrub over it. There you go, so that's how it looks like in Mac. And we quit Excel. And I have a Logic. Where is Logic Pro? Sorry, Logic Pro is somewhere here. Mm -hmm. I think it's this one. Logic. 
bro. Here we go, logic, bro. I'm gonna have to learn this one. It's loading. And here we go, Logic Pro. Let's try to play uh, the default file, the demo that they um, that that it offers. So this is all done in Logic Pro, recorded everything. So let's see how fast a Mac and Hackintosh can um, restart or shut down. <clears throat> let's let's just restart for this one. Restart. Yeah, quick restart. Five, two, and thousand three, and thousand four, and thousand five. That's it. That's how fast it is. Six seconds to shut down. Let's compare our 23, 28 seconds of Macintosh boot up to Windows 7 boot up. Here we go. So as you can see, we're going through the same thing. Over again, and of course, we're going to encounter the same screen where we can choose our OS. So we're going to choose Windows this time. Windows, press enter. 1, 1002, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, it's basically the same. So this is our Windows 7. So that's it and I hope you enjoyed and um, if you want to <clears throat> build the same um, build the same um, dual boot up OS for Hackintosh and and Windows 7 please contact me through this Facebook account and I will give you the number of my friend Pong Thank you, Pong, for doing this for me. It took us 15 hours to do this from scratch. So from a bare computer, it, it was new. The computer was was new, and and uh, from starting starting from the formatting and stuff, and of course to um, installing Macintosh and hacking it and stuff, and all the way to Windows 7. It took us 15 hours, 15 long hours, from 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. all the way to 1, 8, 1 p.m. the next day. No sleep. So, if you have that much time and that much patience, and it's only, it only costs a thousand pesos to, do, to have this, then uh, I suggest that you uh, contact me. Alright, so that's it. Thanks so much. And I hope you enjoyed my new toy. And uh, wish me luck.